Hello viewers, uh, this is Mr. Banda, Mathematics Made Easy. In this lesson, we are looking at uh, ECZ Additional Mathematics, uh, 2017 paper 2, and we are looking at permutations and combinations of additional math, examination council of Zambia. Um, so we have question 5A of this particular year. In how many ways can five girls and four boys be put together in a straight line if the girls are together? That's the first condition. And the second condition is if the boys, if, if no two boys are together, then B is saying a group of five students is to be chosen from five boys and four girls. Find the number of ways of choosing three girls and two boys. So this is quite a very simple and yet interesting topic in additional math, ECZ, permutations and combination. Now you understand what a permutation is. A permutation is just an arrangement of a group of um, objects. There are different ways in which we can arrange given objects uh, depending with uh, the condition. So when you're just given a number of uh, objects to be arranged, like the way we are told here, you have, we use what we call a factorial. You have n factorial, where uh, n is the number of objects that you have, and this is defined as n times n minus one, times n minus two, times, uh, times one. Okay, the meaning of this is if we have two factorial, then this will mean two times one. When you have four factorial, the meaning is four times four minus one is three times four minus two is two times um, four minus three is one. Okay, just like that. So that's what uh, factorial means. And now in this question, we have. Uh, 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 we have to arrange the number of a group or uh, a group containing the number of boys and girls. Okay, so that's what basically a, a permutation is, and the combination is just uh, a way of uh, choosing or selecting object from a given group of objects or a set of objects. So this particular question is based on combination, and this one is on permutations. So in how many ways can five girls and four boys be put together in a straight line if the girls are together? Now, I'll use my blue uh, whiteboard marker here for the girls. So that's for question five, uh, A1. So here we have five girls. So we have one, two, three, four, five girls. And we also have four boys. So I'll use a black marker for four boys, like that. Okay, so in how many ways can we put these, uh, this group of uh, girls and boys in a straight line if the girls are together? So, the girls are these in blue, so these are together. We assume that we tie them together like that, okay? Now, if these are together, in the first place, it means that in the first place, we we'll consider them as uh, one object, okay? So, how many objects in total are going to have? We we'll have one, two, three, four, five. So we'll have five um, objects because, or five objects because uh, the girls are bundled together. But also take note that as these are bundled together, they can permute. This girl can sit or can, can take the position of this one, and this one can take, the, in short, the five girls, in as much as they're together, but in that group, of five of them, 
they can permute, they can be rearranged. So this is five factorial because the first girl has uh, five options of arrangements. The second has uh, four, the third has three, this one of two, and the last one has only one. So this is five times, so this is five factorial as well. Now, there are, uh, so it, mean, it means that they can be arranged in this manner. The girls on their own here, they can be arranged in five factorial ways when they are together like that. And when now you consider the entire group, the group of five objects, because we have girls here, which is being considered as one, okay, and one, two, three boys, which are also five, that arrangement is that of five factorial as well. Because this group can take the first position, or it can take the second position, uh, it can take the third, fourth, and the last position here. So they have uh, five options, and this one boy here has four, this one will have three, and the other one will have uh, two, and the last one will have just one option, implying that that is also five factorial. Now, and in permutations and combinations, implies multiplication. This is synonymous to uh, probability. So this will be 5 factorial times 5 factorial, which will give us uh, 5 factorial is 5 times now. In ADMA, ECZ syllabus, we are allowed to use calculators. Or we can just use the normal multiplication, 5 times 5. So 5 factorial is 120. Uh, so that is 5 times 5 times, sorry, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, then times the same, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This is uh, 20, 20 times 3 is kiste, kiste times 2 is 120, so this would be 120 times 120, which would be 12 times 12, we we'll just give you 144 and you add these two zeros here. So it will be 14,400 ways of arrangement. So this is the number of ways in which we can arrange uh, five girls, a group of five girls and four boys in a straight line where the girls are together. Let us look at the second part, which is saying, uh, if no two boys are together. Now, if two boys are together, what would be the arrangement? In short, what you do is first find the total arrangement where we do not have any condition attached. So, the total number of, uh, uh, of boys and girls is 9. 5 plus 4, so we have 9. So, the total number of arrangements without any condition, so total number of arrangements without any condition is 9 factorial okay that will be the total number of arrangements without any condition so that will be 9 factorial so what is 9 factorial Uh, this is equal to 362,880. So this is the total number of arrangements without conditions. Now, take note that uh, the number of arrangements where no two boys are together is equal to... So, number of arrangements... where two boys are, are, to, are, are where no two boys are together or where two boys are not together that one is going to be equal to total number of arrangements without any condition so we have total number of arrangements total arrangements minus the number of arrangements
number of arrangements when two boys are together because we can easily find the number of arrangements where two boys are arranged together it's easy for us to get that so you know that the total number of arrangements is three thousand uh, three hundred and sixty two thousand eight hundred and eighty and we can easily find the number of arrangements when two boys are together therefore the number of arrangements where no two boys are together will be equal to total number of arrangements minus the number of arrangements where two boys are together now if boys are together what will be the number of arrangements or when boys when two boys are together if two boys are, are together so when you have a bundle of two boys being together like that you know that these two can also interchange which will be two factorial okay and now what will be the true number of this group these are being considered as one also so you have one two three four five six seven eight okay so we have eight because two are put together they are being considered as one now you, this will result to eight factorial okay because you can change them like that and two factorial the two boys can be interchanging this will be eight factorial times two because two factorial is two so you have eight factorial times two it will give you eighty thousand six hundred and forty so this is the number of arrangements that you can have if two boys are together okay now where they are not together it means that since this is the number of arrangements out of the total number of arrangements which is 362 1880 we have 8640 ways of arrangements where two boys are together then the remaining arrangements from this total number will be the arrangements where the boys are not together where the two boys are not together so that will be the final answer therefore it will be 3602 880 minus 8640 which will be equal to so 362 880 minus 80640 it will give you 282240 ways so this will be the number of ways where uh, two boys are not seated together okay coming to this question this is uh, one of the simplest questions that we have here where a group of five students is to be chosen from five boys and four girls find the number of ways of choosing three girls and two boys so that's very simple for b the number of ways of choosing um, three girls you are choosing three girls from how many uh, how many girls you have five boys and four girls so that will be uh, four choose three so from the four girls you must choose three and from um, from five boys you must choose two so this is just four choose three times five choose two so that would be four choose three times five choose two on your calculator this operator is there the combination uh, operator so that would be four choose uh, four choose three four choose uh, three you know that four choose three is just equal to four choose one which will give you four okay then times five uh choose two that is 40. five choose two is 20 and four choose uh, three no five choose two is 10 and four choose three is uh uh is uh, is four so when you multiply four uh four by ten you get 40. So we can uh, uh, we can we can have four ways of choosing three girls and two boys.
from a group of five uh, from a group of five boys and four girls. Okay, so for us to come up with a group of five students, we can choose it. We can have this number of ways of choosing uh, uh, three girls and two boys. I hope and believe that you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, God bless you, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can uh, learn and be notified each and every time we upload a video with regards to mathematics. God bless you once more. Thank you.